everybody, it's Holiday Branch and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing today? Are you guys being safe? I hope you guys are because I'm back at it again with another OxyCharm video and also other packages to open as well, yes. If you guys are new here, hey what's up? My name is Holiday Branch and I like to post videos here every single week about what? About shit that doesn't really matter. It's just like, uh, I'm just here in this corner posting videos about like, like I said before, shit that doesn't really matter. So if you like that type of content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so y'all can get your free entertainment every single week. And here is another video. If you guys have been watching my YouTube channel or have been following me on Instagram for a while, then you guys already know that Miss Holiday Ranch is a loyal subscriber to BoxyCharm. For about two years now yeah yeah actually yeah for about two years I've been a lower subscriber to boxy charm for about two years and honestly like there's nothing bad to say about boxy charm yeah like there are some times in where I'm like you know get the box and I get really really disappointed but majority of the times there's always one product that I always like like whether it's a hair product palette um, hair treatment like brushes there's always something that I like and that product usually what makes it worth to keep the $27 subscription every single month now because of this whole COVID situation there has been a huge delay in receiving my packages for the April box I ended up receiving my box like literally like the first week of May and then I end up receiving my box a little bit more sooner I actually got it um monday which was the i don't know what day it was but i ended up receiving my box on no i'm lying monday was memorial day weekend i ended up getting my box this wednesday i don't know what day it is but i'll put it over here and the time of filming this video is actually a saturday it's actually may 30th so um i got it pretty late it's the last week of the month but i ended up getting my box enough enough time to actually you know say that it is my main box meanwhile i was you know waiting for my box i end up my other makeup products as well i end up getting a box from morphe and i end up getting some couple of eyelashes from one of my friends um boutique i guess you can say eyelash boutique i guess you can say yeah i think that's what it is i don't know so one of my friends one of my friends from instagram um i'm gonna put her name over here she actually started a eyelash collection and it's all by herself all the designs are my, made by her and of course because you know i had to be a good friend you know i had to you know support the homie i end up you know ordering a couple of eyelashes and i'm actually really excited because these are my first real pair of eyelashes i've always gotten the ardell drugstore eyelashes as you can see and they're not bad you already know how like drugstore eyelashes are they're just like nice that's it like they're nice thin and cat eye look i never had like a big fluffy eyelash like instagram eyelashes before so i'm really excited to see what she has for me because you know i gotta like you know upgrade my little drugstore eyelashes so let's start with opening boxy charm because this is the one that i'm actually excited for time to open up my boxy charm hello charmer yay oh my god yes so now that i just opened the box and i like you know dissected it a little bit i didn't get my fucking card and this is like the, the fourth time that i haven't been receiving my card like i've heard rumors that if you don't get your card in your box they will actually send you an email telling you the details of the products that you have received along with like the price tag and stuff like that but there's nothing in here bitch there's nothing in here like boxycharm is scamming me i don't know the products names or the price tags i mean technically i could still google them but like bitch like i that's too much work like that's part of the experience okay, so let's start 
with the biggest product um so it seems to me that i got a curling iron yes i end up getting a soul chart beauty um curling iron and i'm actually really excited to get a curling iron because i've been meaning to get um a curling iron for my own fucking hair i don't know if you guys have been watching my instagram feed or have been noticing the things that i do with my hair but like i literally don't do anything with my hair the only thing that i do is just blow dry it straighten it and put it in a ponytail i occasionally you know do my baby hairs but like that's it i just leave my hair like this you know what this is not the first time that boxycharm has actually put um beauty tools in the boxes i've actually gotten a hair straightener from them a traveling mini hair straightener which was pretty cute especially at that time because i was you know at the time dancing taking a big um iron curler can be pretty hectic especially you know when you want to carry a really small bag to work it's actually pretty nice all right next object i got a crown pro palette and it says right here quality control approved i don't know what that means but i do know that boxycharm is like packaging all of our boxes with gloves and they're practicing social distancing and everybody is wearing masks which is the reason why there is a huge delay in receiving the boxycharms on time so i never heard of this brand either crown pro what the fuck is that it's slick cardboard oh my god it's another eyeshadow palette I'm trying my best not to throw a tantrum, but like you guys, this shit looks so fucking cheap. First of all, this is all cardboard. This is all cardboard. And I don't know if you can see it, but this shit is dirty as fuck. What the fuck? See, we started this video good because I got like a curling iron. But like now like I got like this cheap ass fucking palette and like you guys like boxycharm like it's a hit and miss when it comes to like the palettes there's some palettes that are really really good like I'm just like oh shit you know like this shit is bomb but there's some like these where I'm just like are you serious oh you guys no I did not get this shit what the fuck I end up getting nail polish look I'm just gonna be real honest with you guys. I never bought a fucking nail polish in my adult life. Like, I think the last time I bought a nail polish was when I was like in middle school and I was like being an emo kid and I would like wear like the blackest uh, like fucking nail polish ever. That's the only time I remember me buying uh, like fucking polish for because I wanted to be emo and express my emo-ness through my nails <laughs> i i never met a woman that says you know what i'm gonna go buy some fucking like nail polish like what the fuck look at this shit it's cute bitch look at it but like what the fuck i mean i guess and they're so small what the fuck bitch i have big ass fingers how the like like are you sure this is gonna last me long this one is called fire on the horizon and the other one says can't stop the feeling bitch i can't stop my feeling right now bitch i'm pissed who the fuck bitch this is a total fail the, the only fucking shit that is good is the fucking iron the fucking curling iron that's it that's the only thing that's good in this fucking box who the fuck are you fucking serious? Bitch, I was seeing so many people's made boxes and they end up getting tart. They end up getting like, um, you know, like all of these like, I like this fucking face creams and shit like that. Like they got all these variations and shit. And like, I got stuck with this cheap ass shit. What the fuck? You guys, I know what this one is. I got a fucking perfume look at this shit look at this packaging this shit looks like from the fucking dollar tree english laundry bitch wait what the fuck you guys this is a it's not even a fucking roller 
It's not even a roller. It's not even like a squeaky thing. What the fuck? Oh. Never mind. It's a spray. You know what? It smells okay. But you know what? I could have gotten a better perfume with Avon. Avon smells bomb ass perfumes. Do you guys know that I used to sell Avon when I was a kid? Yeah, bitch. I used to sell Avon. I was one of the... I was selling Avon with the Avon ladies. You know what I'm talking about. You're Hispanic. You know, bitch, who I'm talking about with all the Thea's and shit. Yes, bitch. That was me hanging out with them. <laughs> At like the age of 18. It smells like vanilla, honestly. But like, bitch, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I could have gotten a better one with better packaging with Avon. Like, and last but not least, I end up getting some makeup brushes. See, look, these are bomb. Like, you know what? Like, that's the only thing that came out good out of this. It's like the fucking brush. Ooh, ooh, did you see that, bitch? Hold up. Let's go again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Oh, my God. I fucked it up. You want to try again? Bitch, I fucked it up. Oh, my God. I don't know what fucking brand this is. Can you read this shit or am I like going dumb? I'm going to assume this is a foundation brush or a stippling brush by the way that it has its little bumps and stuff. I'm assuming that this is a contour or a um, um, bronze blush and this is a highlight. You guys, this box sucks like i only like three out of the five products that i got so if you got boxycharm tell me what variations you got because i don't know what fucking variation i got like usually they always leave like a card telling you what variation you got it tells you the information of the products the fucking price tag that's like the most important part about the price tag because the whole sh the whole shit the whole point about boxycharm is that you have um a hundred dollars worth of products or more and you only pay 27 dollars for it so so we're gonna open my friend's eyelashes look at this bitch she got the packaging and shit she got her little stamps and stuff i'm proud of you girl I want to like, oh my god, like I love seeing like girls like start their own businesses, especially when it comes to like the beauty industry, because I feel like even though like all of these companies like BoxyCharm, Tarte, and Too Faced, you know, like they're cool and all, but like nothing is better than having someone of your own, someone that you know actually have like a little stamp, you know, like it's just like, yeah, bitch, like, you know, like I know someone in that industry and they know what I want, what I need and what's best for us, especially we, we Latinas, you know, we Latinas are very, you know, fashionable and shit like that. You already know. I can it low. Wow! Look at this! Ah! Iralo. Look at it. Wow! Look at these. See, bitch, these are real eyelashes. Let me show you my drugstore eyelashes. Espérate un momento, por favor. So these are the eyelashes that I always wear. I, I use the Ardell uh, lashes. But look at the band. Like, bitch, this band breaks within, like, two uses. And look at my friend's eyelashes band. Bitch, that shit's going to be good use for, like, 30 fucking uses and shit. I ordered another one, too. I ordered, like, another pack. So, I'm going to keep one, though. Yes, this is the one that I wanted. So, this is the one that I wanted. What does it say? Find me some... I don't know. What does it say? Look at this bitch. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of you, baby girl. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Bitch, they're fluffy. Oh my God, bitch. Oh my God, girl. This shit is so fluffy. Look at this. Wow, bitch. Oh my God. 
this eyelashes compared to these bitch i'm going to fly with these shit see this is why the reason why i was like buying all these eyelashes and stuff because like now that like you know we're back you know you know we're like slowly but surely getting back to our real lives i'm gonna have to go back to the office and like girl i gotta look at the office like all great you know like i can't be looking out for don't guys shit like literally like being stuck at home like every single day has made me realize like how much i don't practice self-care and i don't practice maintenance as i should um sometimes i get really lazy majority of the times i'm lazy and um i'm just like damn bitch like i bought all this makeup i bought all these products and i barely even use them like i need to take this time to like take care of myself and make it into a routine to like do my hair and to do my makeup and like put my eyelashes and stuff so morphe had a 50 percent off sale and it's actually kind of funny because i started to catch on that every time when there's a sale like an extreme sale like 50 or 60 percent it's usually because um the company is going to launch a new product so they're trying to make room for inventory and stuff like that so i don't know if jeffree star is well actually you know what he did um pull out a new product but it wasn't with morphe so i think morphe is gonna pull out a new product or if not they just wanted to get rid of it i don't know who cares i don't know i don't work at morphe but i ended up getting the jeffree star morphe collaboration palette and i am really excited because number one like look 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 i it seems like I spend a lot of money on makeup, but I don't. Like, all my makeup that I get is either from the drugstore, BoxyCharm, or sales. That's it. Like, it's really, really rare when I go into Ulta and, like, buy a full face or buy anything that's, like, you know, full price. i just not that type of girl. And the reason why is because, like, I live within my needs. Like, I live within my needs. If I can't buy it twice, if I can't buy it three times, I don't buy it. The eyeshadow that I'm wearing right now is the Jackie Anna Beverly Hills collaboration palette. Bitch, when I saw it, I was like, it's $42. I can't afford to fucking buy that three times. Like, I can't afford it. I'm just gonna, like, you know, walk away, bitch. Like, walk away. Take my losses and just hope I get a sell on it. Guess what? A week later, Macy's had a 50 fucking 50% sale on it and I got the fucking Jackie Anna palette for like $25 like that's the only reason why I have this eyeshadow palette <laughs> because I have it on sale I got it on sale so that's kind of like my motto if I can't buy it twice or three times I just rather stay away from it and just like you know take my loss and just hope for a sale and guess what bitch I did oh I'm so excited yeah, Jeffree Star is too fucking expensive. I think, like, her pal her palettes are, like, about, like, $53. So, if I buy it three times, it's, like, about $200. I don't know. I can't do math. But, as I said before, spending that type of money is, like, too expensive for me. So, I just rather not buy it. So, but I can buy the Jeffree Star palette three times. And look at it it's beautiful bitch this makes such a good rave fucking palette look at that wow you know what i'm gonna do a fucking eye set with this would you guys like a makeup tutorial i'm not a makeup beauty guru but i feel like i'm getting better at my eyeshadow skills so if you guys want me to do a tutorial or get ready with me maybe a story time get ready with me i would totally do that for you guys um, but yeah, let me know so maybe I can use this. Oh, bitch, this shit has a mirror. <gasps> oh my god. She has a mirror. Look, there you are. This is actually the first time I actually see a mirror on a Morphe palette. I think that's the reason why it's so cheap, right? Because it doesn't have a mirror and the packaging is really cheap. This fucking palette actually makes me really excited. So I'm actually gonna... You know what, bitches? I don't need your fucking validation. I'm gonna do a get ready with me because, you know, I want to. <sighs> And that is it, you guys. That's all what I have for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it brought a smile to your face. Hopefully, you guys learned something new. And if you guys are interested in buying some eyelashes for my friend's business, make sure to check out her Instagram and her link below. I am really excited for her. Bitch, you killed it. It's fucking beautiful. I can't wait to like take pictures with it as well because, like, you know, I gotta look at these eyelashes. 
Look at these. Look at these. These are like little babies comparing to the ones that you fucking sold me. Like, oh my god. I actually have a surprise for you um, later on during this journey. So stay tuned. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so y'all can get your free entertainment every single week. Tell me what you guys want to see, bitch. Because if you guys don't tell me what you guys want to see, if you guys don't tell me what you guys want, um, I'm going to start doing videos of like what I want and <laughs> whatever is fun for me might not be fun to you so tell me what you guys want to see next um, comment down below and make sure to follow me on Instagram my Instagram name is I am holiday branch and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye why did I say tomorrow I'll see you guys later bye <laughs>